So I just want people to um, have a proper understanding of what mental, what they call mental illness is. And uh, so anyways, everybody is mentally ill in some um, way or another. And what I mean by that is that we all have things um, going on in our minds that are not uh, healthy or in some way they're not uh, true. We have thoughts that aren't correct or um, we think negative things or whatever it may be. So that's what I mean by uh, that everyone is mentally ill in some way. Um, the only way that a person would not be mentally ill is that they had the perfect mind, which Jesus has the perfect mind. So you'd have to have the perfect mind of Christ not to have anything wrong with your mind, to be completely perfect and healthy in your mind. And I think you could all agree that we all have some kind of thinking going on in our minds that is not 100% correct, meaning that we are in some form or another ill in our mind. So when it comes to um, what people call mental illness, they mainly focus on people that are having major problems in their mind. And uh, what it comes down to is what people are thinking. And what people think um, have a result, like an outcome of what you think. You say you think negative thoughts. You're, uh, you are going to feel negative. You're going to feel depressed if you think negative things. If you're thinking uh, worrisome thoughts, you're going to think you're going to feel anxious. If you think happy thoughts, you're going to feel happy. If you think um, angry, hateful thoughts, you're going to feel angry. And if you think thoughts that aren't true, um, you're going you're going to maybe. Um, choose to do things, your actions um, are going to be also um, not proper because if you're having thoughts that aren't true, you're going to be doing things that are not correct. Um, so anyways, a lot of doctors and so on, because they don't believe in God, they think everything is rooted in the physical. So they see somebody who is having some difficulties in their life and they, um, they're having difficulties in their life and whatever's going on, they're feeling certain ways or having problems and what's going on in their life. So the doctors, a lot of them, they look at them and say, oh, well, that's a uh, cause because everything's rooted in the physical so that means it's chemicals in your brain that are causing you to feel a certain way or to think certain things but actually what is happening is the thoughts that people are having in their mind the things that they're thinking are the cause of how people are feeling and what people are doing and problems that they're having in their life things that they're doing or things that they're not doing that they should be doing. Um, so that is actually what um, mental illness is, mental unwellness or whatever you want to call it. In some form or another, we're all mentally unhealthy. We've got some problems and issues in our mind. So if you understand that, which this is God-given insight, if you understand that, then we can move on to, well, how do we correct um, what is being caused by our thoughts? And the answer to that is not necessarily drugs. These drugs that they give people, which they call medication, um, th they can have a, they do have a noticeable, sometimes what people would call um, improvement. And I would like to touch on that what is actually happening there is that doctors are giving people drugs that if it's for if people are having some kind of a tr trouble with like 
depression or anxiety, they're giving them some kind of a drug that'll change their um, their feelings, basically. So they'll make try to kind of. Um, but but really, what a person should be doing is changing their thoughts to change their feelings, not being on some kind of a drug. So what happens is doctors give people these drugs, and they kind of seem to work, like they're people, and kind of in a way how they work is maybe they dull your mind or they have a little bit of effect on your, um, like some kind of chemicals in your body and change. It's like taking a street drug or something. They might make you feel like a little happy or whatever it's doing, but that's not the proper way to, to fix your problem because you're actually not dealing with the root of your problem, which is what you're thinking. So when doctors give people these drugs and they never address what's causing their problem, their problem never goes away. So they just become like dependent on taking these drugs that never actually fix their problem. They're just like a band-aid solution. And so um, I'm gonna pause this for a second, I think. And another thing I want to um, mention was the like antipsychotic um, drugs that people go people are put on. Um, so because the problems that people are having are because of the thoughts they're having, um, the how these drugs seem to work that these antipsychotics is they basically um, numb people's minds. And make it so people can not think the thoughts that were ha causing them to have the problems. So that's not, the doctors don't necessarily understand that. They think, oh yeah, it's just doing something with the chemicals and rebalancing chemicals in people's brains or whatever. But actually what it's doing is just causing people not to be able to think the thoughts that they were thinking that were causing the issues in the first place. It just numb your mind and make people like, so they can barely think. And that's how the drugs seem to work. And it's the same with the other drugs. Um, people don't actually deal with what is causing them the problem. And which I already explained that what is causing the problem is what people are thinking. People are thinking incorrect thoughts or thinking negatively or some kind of bad thought. It's not perfect mind of Jesus. It's some kind of error in somebody's thinking. So it's causing them problems in their feeling and problems in their choices, what they're doing or not doing and all this stuff. So the solution to people's problems is to change their mind. And people can change their mind. So if people can realize what their problem is, what is the thinking that is causing them the problem in their life, and if they figure that out and they can change their mind, then they change their life. They change how they feel. They change the decisions that they're making and the things that they're doing. But if all the doctors do is give people drugs that just mask um, the problem never actually address the problem because the doctors don't even understand what the problem is. They just think it's chemicals. They just think it's rooted in the physical. They don't understand the problem is what people are thinking. So if they don't know that's the problem, they never, rev they never tell people that. Nobody, a lot of people don't understand that is the problem. So a lot of people never get the fix that they need they didn't they don't get the help they and they get stuck all the, the some people in their lives they just spend the rest of their lives drugged on some of these drugs that are like totally sedative and they get told by the doctors that oh you have this disease you have this illness it's heredity and you're just gonna have it the rest of your life and it'll never go away but actually that's a lie and it just has to do with changing their thinking. So some people, because they don't know that, they get stuck on these drugs and they never get off them. They never deal with the problem, which is their thinking. And it's really, really sad. And the reason why I know this is because I went through it and I was having problems in my life. And I also was 
um, drug by a doctor and um, which the drugs cause problems and all this, these other things. But thankfully, God brought me out of that and he showed me what the problem was and that it was my thinking. And then when I changed my thinking, my life changed and my feelings changed and what I chose to do changed and, and, and things got better and I overcame those problems so that's how I know God revealed to me and I just want to share that with you and hope that um, it will it will help you and that you will now have a better understanding of what is causing the problems in your life um, I have explained this to a lot of people but it's really really hard for people to really grasp it, really understand it, or really believe it, because it's very common that the belief is that it's all about chemicals, and it's basically people are, like, have this illness, and they put all these names on them, and that's really like a mindset um, throughout broader society of, of that is what is going on and they don't even realize that everybody has mental illness everybody has something wrong with their thinking we're all mentally ill in some form or another people wouldn't want to admit that or um, fess up to that or acknowledge that but if they did understand that then they would be like, okay, yeah, you're right. Like we all are mentally ill in some way or another. It's just some people are having more mental problems than other people. And the way to fix it, like I explained and said it about 10 times already in this video is um, just changing your thinking. And, um, and the best way, what I recommend is just, and what I would say that you need to do how to change your thinking is you need it to come in line with God. You need to have proper thoughts. You need, and the perfect mind is the mind of Jesus. So you want to have thoughts that are true. You want to have thoughts that are pure. You want to have thoughts that are um, not sinful or wicked or anything. And then um, your life will be good. So. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Love you.